Oh, yeah, my, my trophies, they're all there. So what about the interview? Just movies. Okay. All right. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. See my phone? I don't like that phone. <laughs> this one, you don't need the... <laughs> when you text, oh, dali. This, uh, yeah, and that makes... Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I never dreamed of being an actor. I always wanted to be a soldier. I wanted to make it my career. Everybody has a dream. Somebody says, I want to be a lawyer. I want to be a doctor. And me, it I happens to be, I want to be a soldier. So if supposedly I did not join the movies, probably I'll be dead, six under frown in Korea, because that started the Korean War. Oh. And if I survived that in Vietnam, I could have been six feet underground, dead. If I survive that, I'll be a retired colonel. So that's destiny. Oh yeah, well, I play villain roles. Uh, when I'm hated, that means it was a good job. One time uh, during the Sampaguita days, I did a film with Gloria Romero. Uh, in, the, in the film, I raped her. I was the villain in live theater. On the opening day, all the actors, they go there, sign autographs, and then after that, they go to the lodge and uh, view the film. So I went there, and when the lights uh, were on, there was an old woman behind with an umbrella and sucked me in the head. Bah! <coughs> then I look at her. Ito palang walang hiya. That means I did a good job. <laughs> I'm usually early than the call time. Because my motto is, what you could do today, you do it now so you could do something else tomorrow. Even before the military, that was my motto. Well, in Sampaguita, uh, it was uh, very disciplined, like they were very specific in time. There was one actor that uh, his uh, weekly allowance was goes to fines. Because every minute you're late, you're fine. If your call was 8 o'clock, you'd be there before or at 8 sharp. Because if you go 8, 10, you're fi fine. <laughs> it's very important. Time, discipline. When you go to the set, you're prepared. When I joined the movies, I always wanted to be a director. So I said to myself, uh, maybe... It'll take about uh, 15 years and I'll be able to direct. But luckily, it only took 12 years. When I direct, I usually, it's a pre-edited. I pre-edit my shots. I only take shots that are what I want. I, I'm not the type that will take uh, one from this angle, one from that angle, and then pagpipilian. Ako, I'm definite. Before, when I was directing, like... Uh, Supposedly, the prop man uh, forgets about something that's very important on the set. And, I, I'm, and I'm ready to shoot that scene. I don't get mad. I just don't break for lunch. And everybody goes hungry till 4 o'clock in the afternoon. When I suffer, everybody suffers. <laughs> I don't shout. I don't get mad. I just don't feed them. Whatever I do, there's passion in it. That's important. That's important. Because if, if there's no passion, you get out of it and find another job. For 69 years, I continuously did movies. Because it's a job that I like. Well, one time I was in a club. Uh, there were uh, hoodlums drinking in one table. And then they invited me for a drink. So I went to the table and then offered they were drinking beer. So they poured the beer in my glass. And then one of the guys started getting peanuts and putting them in, on the glass. So you could see the, the balat of the peanuts, you know, floating. I said, oh. I was uh, drunk. Then I ordered a round. Oh, okay, naman ito. So I got 
the clip of my 45, I got the bullets and put them in the glass. After that, they paid the bill and then they left. Pakwani <laughs> palabasan eh. Money earned but not spent is not your money. You make money. You just put it in the bank without touching it. What does it do to you? Nothing. The reason you earn? Because you want to spend it. You cannot bring it to the grave. What I earn, I spend. Well, women should be treated delicately. They should be put on a pedestal. She should be worshipped. Well, I'm a one-woman man. Well, yeah, because like having so many love affairs at the same time, it's a headache. You, you waste your time lying and cheating. <laughs> you see, you want to do this. And then you think about, could it be achieved? If, if it could be achieved, you work for it so you could achieve it. But if it cannot be achieved, you forget about it. I only set goals that could be achieved. My belief is, when you're dead, you're dead. <laughs> if your time is up, that's it. When your time is up, you're dead, and people forget about you. Yeah. How would you want to be remembered? I'm sure you would. <laughs> Frankly, I don't give a damn. <laughs>